Let's see how we can run a LLM model in our local machine and how we can build an application which will connect to only your local LLM models. So in the previous videos we have seen that we were connecting to OpenAI's ChatGPT model. Uh, we were using the ChatGPT 4, 4, 0, 4 mini. Lots of different models we were able to connect to using the API and we were able to build our applications with the help of AI using those models. But what if we have some private information and I do not want to share those information with the LLMs. I want to run my LLM in my local machine and on that I want to build my application. So most of the organizations have their private data, sensitive data, confidential data, right? So they do not want to run or build an AI application with the help of the already existing models on the cloud. They want to have their models on their own premise or their own cloud servers. So for that, we can use the Olama and this will help us to run our models locally. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. This is Shabir and we are going to build an application with the help of Olama, which will allow us to run the models locally and we can connect to our models using the Spring Boot application. So what we are going to do is let's go to this uh, Olama website here. So you can see that I am here at olama.com and you can see that what are the different models supported and everything. So what you have to do is first you need to download Olama in your local machine. Once you download it, you will be able to run your models in your machine. This is similar to our Docker. So we will be able to pull any of those models and we can build our own models as well. So a simple thing, go here and download from here. You can see that you have the download option available for Mac OS, Linux and Windows. I have already downloaded for Mac OS. And once you have downloaded it and install it, you will be able to access Olama with your terminal. So once you have downloaded, what we can do is we can go ahead and download the models. So if you come over here to the models, you can see that there are different models available. So here you can see that there are different models available. There is a Llama 3.2, which is the latest model from Meta. This is what we are going to use today. But you can see that there are a lot of different models available. Whatever we want, we can use. All those different models are there for different purposes. Those different models gives us the different solution. Based on those models, we can build our solutions accordingly. So if I take this example of uh, Llama 3.2, here you can see that uh, there are different versions of Llama 3.2. That is a 3B, 1B latest. And you can see that for everything, there's a different size available. So the model you choose has to be within the size that your machine can support. So my machine, I don't have that much space available. So I'll be using the 3B version here. And you can see that it's 2GB. So I'll be able to run this model with 2GB of storage. The more better the model, the more data it has and it will be a very huge in size. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a proper or enough size. And based on that, you should have a proper CPU and GPU compatible as well to run those models. So I think we should be able to run this 3B model, which is the latest model out of Llama 3.2 and it should be good enough. But if you see here, if you scroll down here, all the information you will be able to see about the Llama 3.2, the size difference and what that particular model includes. This is the one that we are going to use. That is a 3B parameters. You can see that this is a 3B model outperforms the Gemma 2. That is a 2.6B and 5 3.5 mini models on tasks such as following instructions, summarizing, prompt rewriting, tool use and other things. So for that, this is the command that we can use to run the model locally in our system. If it's for 1B, these are the things that it is capable of, capable of and for that this is the command that we should run. You can see the benchmarking information and everything is available. You can go ahead and see all those different models available and accordingly we can run those models in our system. So what we will do is let's take this example. Let's take this Olama run Llama 3.2 copy this command and open in terminal to run this. We will go ahead and open the terminal here and here we have installed Olama. So what we will do is we will just run this command that is olama run llama 3.2 once we run this it will download the model locally and it will start working so let's run this command so here you can see that it is pulling the manifest and it is started downloading the different layers of the model and it will start building the model for us so here you can see that it's of 2 gb of size we'll wait for it to complete and we'll back with the editing magic a few moments later and here you can see that it has downloaded the entire olama model and it is running as well and you can see that it is successful here you can see that we can now send a message and it will respond to those messages respond to the prompts okay so suppose i'm asking who are you 
and it should return me some data right so here you can see that your local model is currently working and it is up and running so it is uh, running on one of the ports available in your system and when you create the application you should be able to connect to that port to run the data so here you can see that as your model is working there are different uh, commands that you can use so so let me just open in a new tab so if i go here and see olama ps which will show me that this is the olama model this is the id the size of the model and the model is currently running so this is the information you will get with the olama ps command so if i go to olama and here you can see that these are all the different commands available which you can use to work with the olama so olama so you can create the model from a model file you can show the information of a model you can run a model stop a model pull push you can list a model and remove it and copy a model a lot of th things available this is similar to docker that we know of okay so what i'll do is i will just list the model okay you can see that this is the model that we have which is of size 2 gb and once you are running it it's around 4 gb it's 4 gb of size which is uh, taking in your system okay and if i want to show the information so i can say olama show information about the model so i can just and here you can see that it is getting me this data that the model is this the architecture is this the parameters the context length embedding length quantization the parameters the licensing and all those information is there and we if we want we can remove the model as well we can run the model stop the model and a lot more things we can do so just go through this command and you will get more understanding about how to use the olama so now as we have the model up and running in our system what we can do is we can create a Spring Boot application which can connect to this AI model and we can build the AI application locally. So for that what we will do is we will go to the Spring AI section of the Spring Boot. Okay. So this is Spring AI and here within this I have gone to the chat model API and within that I have gone to the Olama section. So here you will get all the information about how you will be able to connect to Olama with your Spring Boot application. So you can see that this is all the prerequisites. Okay, you need to run this Olama pool mistral. But what we did is rather than mistral, we use the Llama 3.2. Okay, and you can see that you need to add the repositories and BOM. And this is the dependency that we need to add. That is a Spring AI Olama Spring Boot starter. And once you add this information, you can see that these are the values that you need to add for your a Spring Boot application to know that when to or where to connect to. So by default you can see that the chat option model is Mistral but as we are using Llama 3.2 we have to change this information. Rest of the things we can keep it default. If you want to change it you can come here check these options and you can change accordingly. That's it. This is all the simple thing that we have to do. So what we will do is let's go ahead and create the Spring Boot application and let's fill all the details. So we'll go to the start.spring.io that is a spring initializer to create a spring boot project so here what you can see that i'm doing is i'm just selecting the java language may one the spring boot version is 3.3.4 and the group information i've added that is com daily code buffer artifact i've given as spring olama and the package name is olama packaging is jar and java version is 21 so all this information i've given and as a dependencies what i've added is i've added spring web dependency as I want to create a Spring Web application and I have added the Olama dependency of Spring AI. So that means that we will have the reference of Olama as a part of the Spring AI dependency. Okay, so you can see that the Spring AI support for Olama, it allows you to run various LLM locally and generate text from them. So we'll be able to run all the models locally, which will connect our application to that and we'll be able to run the data. So this is all we need to do no nothing extra so once we generate the project let's open an intellij idea and let's create the endpoint for this so let me just create the application here generate it and then let's open an intellij idea so here you can see that i opened the spring olama application here okay and this is a simple application if i go here this is a simple application and if i try to run this you can see that i'm able to run my application and my application is also started awesome right so here you can see that I do not have to worry about connecting to anything. It directly connects to the local Olama. Now what I have to do is as we saw here 
that as I am using the Llama 3.2 what I need to do is I need to change one configuration that is the this one model model so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll come here come to resources and I will add this configuration here okay and the model that I'm using is Llama 3.2 so I'll just copy this and add here so that's it so now my application knows that this is the model that I'm using other, rather than Mistral so once this is done what I can do is I can create the controller let me just create a controller and say chat controller and I will annotate this with rest controller to make it rest and what I will do is I'll create one API public string prompt okay and what I'll do is I will annotate with get mapping and I will add slashers because this is my default path okay now what I need to do is I need to take the prompt as an input as well so I will just do request mapping request param and my param is message m okay so now you can see that your controller is ready but how do I call the olama so as in the previous videos we have seen that how we used to call the open air chat model that's the same code that you can use there is nothing extra the same everything will work here so let me just do this so what I need is I need a chat model to work with the chat model okay so I will just add the private final chat model okay and let me just add a constructor parameter here and if I go to chat model here here you can see that chat model has only one implementation and that one implementation is olama chat model because we have just added the one dependency that is of olama if you have multiple dependencies then you need to define which one to use but as we have only one dependency with just olama chat model it should work so now as we have added chat model we already know that it is going to be olama chat model so now once this is done what i can do is i can just say that using chat model call the api and your prompt is this m that's it you can see that that's a simple implementation to use olama with your spring boot application so now what we will do is we will just start our application and let's see how it is working so your application is started now and your application is also connected so what we will do is we will go to the browser and we will call localhost 8080 and then we'll say question mark m equals to who are you so it should connect to olama locally that is llama 3.2 model and it should give me the data so here you can see that i'm getting i'm an artificial intelligence model known as llama llama stands for large language model meta ai okay so now let's ask something else so i'm asking that what is today so here you can see that it is not aware about the current date and time it's okay we have we know that how we can work around with this as well using the spring ai functions we will create a new video to work with spring ai functions with olama in the next sections in the next video but this is what you can see let me just ask about Shahrukh khan it should give me some data and here you can see that I am getting the information about the Shahrukh Khan Shahrukh Khan also known as CRK or King Khan it is a renowned fil Indian film actor and yada 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 so all those information you can see that all those information I got from my local LLM it is not going to connect to any of the models in the cloud okay so to prove that what I will do is I will just come here and my model is working here right this model is already connected so what I will do is I will just disconnect the model and I'll say bye okay and what I will do is I will olama list and I will just remove the model as well so I'll just say olama rm okay so you can see that this model is deleted and if I run it again you can see that I'm getting the error because that model is now not available okay so that's why it's not able to connect and it's not able to give me data so here you can see that it was able to connect to my local LLM and I was able to build the application using the Spring Boot. Now what you can do is you can just explore the Olama here, download the model locally and build the application locally and also what you can do is you can follow the RAG implementation and Spring AI functions implementation using the Olama. 
in the next section in the next video i will be creating the complete spring ai functions and spring ai rag implementation using the olama so this is what all i wanted to share you today using the olama and the latest llama 3.2 model and how we can run the models locally and create a spring boot application with spring ai if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye